today's topic will be white path semantic activities. We'll get started with an introduction to semantic activities to understand what they are. Then we'll have a brief overview about each semantic activity currently available. And then we'll have a demo time where we'll see how to use each semantic activity. Semantic activities are activities currently specifically designed for working with forms, offering a direct and powerful method for data extraction and input. And they could throughout complexity, allowing you to utilize a semantically flexible approach powered by AI and white path advanced internal components such as AI-powered proprietary DOM analysis, which basically extracts all usable Y elements from a form, semantic matching engine, which adds resilience to your automations by semantically matching text labels, ensuring stability against Y changes, and semantic targeting and execution engine, which eliminates traditional selector-based challenges enabling seamless targeting and execution without the usual complexity and resilience issues related to using selectors. Now from this introduction, let's get a brief overview over each semantic activity currently available. So we have three semantic activities and let's get started by the extract form data that as the name indicates, extracts data from a form and it's perfect to use together with the other two semantic activities the set value or the field form activity. Then we have the field form activity that tells us the name suggests, fills a form with the data, the information extracted from the provided data source, which can be the extract form data activity, can be a JSON file, text, etc. And then last but not least, we have the set value activity, which simplifies the data entry process by seamlessly adapting to various form elements such as text boxes, drop downs, and ready buttons. So instead of having to use a different activity for each different form element, we can just use the set value activity that can work for all of these form elements indicated. So now that we got an understanding about semantic activities, let's see in practice how to use and work with them. From Wipad Studio, I'll create a new project. The semantic activities are available both on Windows and cross-platform compatibility. And for this tutorial, I'll use cross-platform. Important to highlight that in order to be able to use semantic activities, it's required to have the Wild Automation Activities package on the version 24.4 or greater. So let's start with using the extract form data semantic activity. So here on the activities panel, I will search for extract form data. I'll drag it to the project. It requires to be inside of a scope of a use browser activity. So let's use it. And now the tab to automate, I'll select this page where I have a form with data. So let's select. And now inside, let's drag the extract form data activity which will use the power of AI to extract the form data. So first we'll discover the fields on this page to then extract the data from the fields. So let's click on discover fields from screen. And here you can see the fields discovered on the screen. We can see here all the entire on the screen. So all the fields were detected and we get as output the data from each form field. Now to test this extract form data and see if it's working properly, nothing better than using the fill form semantic activity. So let's here use the fill form semantic activity, which needs to be also inside of a scope. So in this case, a use browser activity. And at this time I'll decay another page which has a form with the same fields as the form from where we are extracting the form data with the semantic activity. So here I'll decay the page that has a form to fill. And now let's drag inside the fill form semantic activity and we just need to provide the data source for this activity. By default, it will find and fill the form found on the page. 
so we don't need to use the typing tool a uh, select item so we don't need to use activity for each field that is here on the form so here the data source will be the one that comes from the extract form data semantic activity so here i'll just declare a variable form data and increase its scope to be accessible on the whole workflow so here i'll just increase the variable scope and now let's here use the variable and that's basically it so let's test and run so it should extract first the data from uh, this page and then fill the data from this form on this one on the correct fields so i will execute the workflow and here you can see that it's being filled each form field with the data from this form from where we have extracted the data and we can notice that each field was filled correctly so here first name with the first name from here the surname with the last name from uh, this form so we can see that it worked 100 percent correctly where to highlight the field form activity supports other data sources such as dictionaries json files and text so let's test with a json so here we can see that we have a json file with fields that matches with the ones that we can see on this form so i'll set up the workflow to read the text from this json file and uh, pass it as a data source on this field form activity and let's see how it works so i'll use here just a read text activity and now i'll provide here the local file path and from here we will get as output the text from the file the json and now let's pass the output from this activity to the field form so pass the json text and i'll just comment here the first use browser activity and now i'll run the workflow so currently the form is cleared so i'll run and here we can see each form field being filled with the data from the JSON file. Now, after using the field form and extract form data, I'll use the set value semantic activity. And to use it, I have here a form with different form fields such as radio buttons and drop down. So we can see how the set value activity is able to adapt to each form element type. So first I'll use the use browser and indicate the page to automate that has the form and then inside use the set value semantic activity and indicate the first form field and here you can see that was detected a radio group so i will confirm now i'll use another set value for the second field which is a drop down And now I'll just use another set value for the input field. So now we have provided the value to each set values. So for the first field, let's indicate to select the first option, the option one. Then for the drop down, let's do the same. So we have the same options. And for the text input, let's pass the value hello world. So now I will run the workflow. And here you can see that the set value semantic activity was able to handle the different form element types. So I'll just do one more run with different values. So for the radio buttons, select the option three drop down option two and just before running the workflow again i'll clear the form and now run the workflow again
And here we can see again that all the form fields were handled properly. Also worthwhile light that the set value activity works for date picker. So I've just added one on the form. So here we can see it. So I'll just here reset the form and let's drag a set value activity for the date picker. So to fill it, so let's indicate. And here you can see that it was recognized as a date picker. So now let's pass the date uh, to input on the date picker. And now let's test, so I'll run. And here we can see that the date picker field was filled correctly. And that's all for today's topic. Thanks for watching.